Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. My supplies and equipment are listed down below and there's links to most items, so check that out. If you like these videos and you want to see more, click that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of any new videos coming up, hit that notification bell too. Now I'm going to start putting in my green. So I'm going to do about a third of the page at a time. You could do the whole thing if you want to, but I want a lot of lines and I'll show you why later. Um, when you put in the, the leaves and the stems and things like that, you don't want them showing up. So we can see that a little bit later because I think this is where, on this side, I didn't get enough in there. Um, but you want those dark lines to kind of mess that up a little bit. Now I've got lots of ink in this alcohol, so it's not um, making more of a pastel. I do want this kind of darker and have those dark lines in it. Now here I'm starting my layer of brown, and if you hadn't figured it out by now, this is like you've sliced the earth in a vertical way. So the top part, the green, is my grass and leaves and things like that. The brown is going to be my earth, and I've had this in my head. I'm surprised I made it um, come out close to what I had thought. Um, so, but later on. I stay tuned I show you how to blend the green and brown because when I took a picture of it and looked at it later it looked very uh, separated it wasn't it wasn't uh, terribly attractive so I do go back and fix that um, I just didn't want to insert it here in the video with this video I made three different ones and each one I did a little different and it's 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 been fun. Um, so this is the one I, well, this is the one I got all of. The first one I didn't get the front. The second video I didn't get the last half. And so this one I got all the way through. So I don't know what my problem was. I was probably too much in a hurry and not hitting the record button. And here I'm just blowing this around again. I want a lot of those dark lines and I want it to uh, just to indicate you indicate a lot in this type of painting because uh, this inks aren't exact and that's the cool part about it
So here is this Marabou ink. I love them for this reason. They are thick enough that you can do these lines with. The other inks spread too fast. You can't get a stream on them, or at least I can't. Um, but I do like these. They are these are the what sets the the Marabou's different than everybody else. And I can make little bitty ones. I can make thicker ones, and they just they blow out like this. Just crazy. I love them. I put some long ones, and I put stronger ones, and then I put little ones and thin and so i just kind of want to take up some space here that one's a little too thick but we made it work Okay, here's where I change it up a little bit. I watched, and I hope I pronounce her name correctly, Lonnie Zimino. Uh, she, I saw her do this, and she is the queen of it. Um, she does it with a straw, I believe. And it's just, when I saw her do this, I, I instantly contacted her and said, what in the world are you using? And it was liquid acrylic. And I thought that's ingenious. It, it does great. So, I, I got me some, <laughs> and I started playing. That's when this image hit my head. So it's been about two weeks that I've had this in mind. But So I've, I've taken her technique, and I blew with a straw at the first one, and it did really good. It did. Um, it's harder with a straw. I'm not. She looks like she just effortly does it. I struggled with mine and sounded like I got winded. So... Um, I played around and started doing it with the airbrush. Now, my airbrush is on top of it. It is like not giving it any mercy here. Sometimes it blows out really squiggly, like over to the right. And other times it just, it's a little thicker. But the thinner you put the dot down, the smaller the dot, the better. As it gets thinner, it starts getting squiggly. <coughs> Excuse me. And... If you put it down too thick, it, you have a thick base to it. So put it thin, and if you need to, midway of the um, 
root adds a little bitty tiny bit and blow it a different way if you want it to do it but if you really want to see a master at it check her out i'm going to list her in the description and she's on facebook and youtube and instagram and she does incredible stuff so check that out now here i've taken my little stylist and i'm dipping it in the uh ink the uh, acrylic and just kind of really blowing it and i'm really liking this I, I can't wait to try it on different stuff and i'm just doing until i have enough roots and you may see me add some black or darken up the brown give it different colors so that it's not all the same color and that actually i did like i was trying to darken it up as a whole and realized i did like the variation in colors i also put a little black in that brown and it just it added some little depth to it and so that was pretty cool I had never done that before either and so yeah I tried different things out like that but I did add more uh, a, a drop or two of black to my brown which made it a little darker so it worked out really well Okay, this is where I really have fun. I love doing flowers, even indication of flowers, and I'm going to indicate a lot here. Um, so I've got yellow, I've got dandelion in that little well, and I am just putting petals down. Some of them are running together, depending on how wet I had the brush with the alcohol inks, and so I just kind of put them down. Now, here I would have and should have done that first flower and been done with it and not do two or three flowers. It does not stay wet enough long enough for what I ended up doing so I took a really tiny brush um, and I just kind of put some streaks through there I used the red orange I really it really I want it to scream at you so I went ahead and started doing in the red and I'm just I'm just doing I there's no rhyme or reason there's not even I'm trying to indicate petals I'm just putting it in there and when the yellow is wet 
this blends incredibly. It's it, it kind of flows and it moves and it does its own thing. So I'm re-wetting these because they did get too dry. And they just really make, it's a cool way to indicate that there's flowers and there it's fun. And so I've, I've really enjoyed this. And it allows your viewer to have fun with it because it's not serious. You, you, you understand you're not really doing real life flowers here. So you give them the opportunity to relax and play and have fun too. So have fun with these flowers. I did the first one red with some yellow markings and then I did the yellow with the red and you can see right there I am just popping it down. It's a lot of fun. So let yourself go and do this. It's, it's just, it's great. And y'all have fun and it's going to look fabulous. Now I'm going to add some leaves to this because it just seems like there needs to be something right there. The, my favorite way, and I do this in watercolor and acrylic and now the inks, is start off then with your brush, push your brush down, scoot it sideways and start lifting up again. It just adds the most interesting leaves. Unless you just really want to get in there and detail on it, this is the way I do it. I have fun with it. It goes with the rest of the painting because you're just indicating stuff. You're not actually clearly, clearly presenting a leaf or a flower or anything. So this is a great way just to add some foliage to your, your paintings. Now here's where you can go and have a little fun. I go through and I, after I put my leaves in and I start putting maybe the left side of all the leaves, I just add some more green, make it dark. I don't worry about making a thin line, thick line. I just put it on there. It's gonna blend, it's gonna move, it's gonna do its thing. And that's part of the fun of this. And just go ahead and, and put you some dark pieces in your leaves around here. Now, to have even more fun, because, you know, that's what we're doing here, having fun, 
dip that brush in some of the yellow and maybe put it on the right side. You might want to put it on the left side too with the dark, but I will kind of go ahead and just kind of put it here and there and creating light areas in your leaves and that'll give them a little more dimension and a little more playfulness. This is the part I told you about where I want to go ahead and blend those two. See how they're just straight. Once I took a picture and stepped back, ooh, I could see it. So I go in here and I'm just wanting to mess that line up. I don't really want to take a lot of ink up. And you can put down some more ink if you want to. Um, add a little black. A little black is, is really neat on it. And, and apparently I didn't add the black to this one because I didn't see that earlier when I was... Um, doing the voiceover on the first part so i just kind of put alcohol on the green and the brown and start i just let it sit for a second or two so that it can start softening that ink up and then i start blowing it around where you really kind of can't see where one color starts and the other one stops and so that's what i've done back and forth on this because it that just needed to blend it was a little too stark uh in my opinion for what the picture is wanting to say.
so that is all done and look how much better that looks now here's the first one I did you can see the red flowers with some yellow in it that was a lot of fun so you can kind of play with your flowers there and have fun now this is the one that I put the black on the see the black and the green and brown it looks so good so that's my favorite one that's the picture I'm ending with so I hope this gave you some great ideas and y'all go have fun